What's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. Tonight, we're continuing our playthroughs from the 2017 Essen Spiel Hall with a re-implementation of a game called Porto Carthago, and this is Carthago, Merchants and Guilds, designed by Ralph Beinert and Bern Eisenstein, and co-published by both of their respective companies, Iron Games and Games Up. I'm also happy to break the news that this has been picked up by Capstone Games and will be available in the U.S. at Origins Game Fair in June of 2018. So if you guys dig it and you can't find it, just wait till June, make it available then. All right. So I'm your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by, well, pretty pretty familiar group, I'd say. Yeah. Amanda Euler. Swatter Mike. Matt. Matt. He's like Madonna, just Matt. Just, yeah, just... That is just it's the one name. <laughs> <laughs> just Matt. Just Matt. All right. Sounds so. like a CNC music factory. Just so. Matt. Right. <laughs> it, it just so, does. So welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us live around the world, as well as after the fact. Uh, get comfy and uh, check out while we're uh, going to work to become the most renowned merchants in Carthage. So I'm going to have the cameras down. It's not too hard of a game, actually, but just so you guys can go ahead and focus on everything. Um, yeah, this one has a bit of a strange board setup. So I'll just actually go and show you guys this. And there you go. So there's the quote-unquote board, I guess. Boards, plural? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's this one, this one was a bit of a, a tough one to be able to get uh, organized for the stream so hopefully you guys will be able to see everything all right um three of the tableaus are going to be in view tonight uh there there you go so that's matt's there's amanda's and just matt's right there mine however will be oh wrong one wow it's like i'm new at this right seriously and there will be mine all right so let's go ahead and get into the teach so uh, in Carthago, Merchants and Guilds, players represent merchants who attempt to increase their wealth and influence while improving their status within the Merchants Guild by loading wares, financing expeditions, and exerting influence in clever ways. Or just gathering cards, spending cards to get victory points. That's, that, that, that's probably a little bit closer. So, uh, first off, we'll go over the board overview, but it's, again, boards... All right, so first off, we have the round one up top there. That's the action board. There are five actions and the guild markers. So the five actions are the white squares on it, and then the guild markers are the two uh, gold buildings out there. Also note that there is a one action disc for each player inside the action board. This is the only disc that every player that will go on to that board. That's not super clear in the rules, and it took us a little while to figure that out. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to emphasize that for those going through the rule book after the words. Mm. That's what the extra disc is. It goes for the action board. All right. So there is the trading harbor, which is, I'm sorry, the trading harbor down here. Nope. Try it again. Trading harbor is this guy. The five ships that are up here, as well as the two ships that are upcoming, so you can see what's going to come. And this works as a conveyor running that direction. Shipyards. Then there is a warship harbor, which is here. Normally warships. would be a tip, uh, attached there at the end, but again, just for the camera, we did it over there. There is the market, which has the five trade cards, which will always have five cards, as well as the trade deck here. There is the guild hall, which is in-game scoring stuff here. And then to the far right over there is the decade track and achievement tiles, which are more in-game scoring. And then the start player and round track. More on that here in a little bit. So over here, to zoom in on the tableaus, so we have the tableau, which is actually this guy right here, which is called your residence board. There are three columns of influence discs. So you have the left one, which is going to be used for bonus guild seats. So you'll notice underneath, those have a zero, two, and three underneath. Then in the center is your ship combat strength. Everyone starts with one combat strength, and then it climbs to three and five. 
and then over on the right is bonus influence discs. So the first one doesn't give you anything other than the disc, but the second location, actually, you can see there are two discs. It's a little hard to see with the yellow, but there's two staggered discs that you would get both of. So there's a little player aid here kind of at the top to show you what goes to the left of your residence board and what goes to the right. And then your actual player pieces. Everybody has influence discs. They start with three available and can acquire more as we go along. And then there are seven base cards, which as well as three trade, tra three trade cards at the beginning of the game, everyone's going to get here. Uh, and your base cards. More on these here in just a second, in fact, now. So there are three types of cards in the game of Carthago. The base cards are identical seven cards each player has in their starting hand. These can only be used to take action. So if you notice, looking at this card, um, this one only has a trade or an action icon in the top left corner. At the top of it, it tells you what you can do. It's a little player aid for each individual action that's available. So you'll notice there are five different actions out here, which I will go over here in a little bit. But just know that your base cards, these can never be discarded or removed from the game. Everyone will always have these seven in their hand, except after they play them, okay? Then there are trade cards. So the trade cards, these are my starting trade cards to give you guys an idea. These have actions on them in the top left corner, just like your base cards do. They also have goods and coins on them, which are roughly split evenly. Uh, as far as the distribution, the coins range from two to six on them. And then there are, I wanna say there are five or six different goods in the game. I think five different goods in the game. Five. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, these can be used to take actions like the base cards can, but also these are going to be spent and discarded into a discard pile for use of the goods or the coins throughout the game. And then last but not least, there are ship cards. These are going to provide the owner a special ability, which there's a wide range of what these ship cards can do here. And then there is more information on them, which I'll get into here in a little bit. Just know that each ship card is going is has a special ability, and these are going to be in-game multipliers at the end of the game for victory points. All right, so now back to the main board. So Carthago's played over the course of three decades. So this marker right here, which is a little bit hard to see that disc, you can see it's on the first decade, second and third decade. So the game takes place over three decades, each with a setup phase and five action rounds. So every time we go around, that's one round, da da da, we do five, and then we go into a setup, uh, a reset or setup phase at the end of that. The setup phase is skipped in the first decade, that's why we all start with the three cards that we do. That's part of the setup phase. Starting with the start player and following around clockwise, each player is gonna take one action for each of the five rounds. So you're going to get a total of 15 actions in this game. Three decades, five rounds, one action per round. The decade ends when the last player takes their fifth action and then the game ends at the end of the third decade, okay? So on a player's turn, they can do one of two things. They can either take an action or pass. Passing is exactly what you think it is. But to take an action, and here actually I'm going to go back to my Tableau cam to show you guys. All right, so to take an action, a player has the available cards in their hand. They're gonna take one card and they're going to play it to the left side of their, uh, of their residence board <laughs> and what card they play here in the top left corner is going to depict the action that they're going to be taking. All right. So after I have played a card down and it could be either a, a uh, base card or a trade card doing whatever action it is, then at that point, I'm going to take my disc and put it on the matching action over there to say, Hey, I'm taking that action. So to be able to take that action, you have to have played that card. Okay, makes sense? For any disc that is already on the chosen action, so in this case, let's say on Matt's turn, he decides to take this action, and my disc is there, he needs to then 
play an additional card out of his hand, this one to the right side of his residence board. Okay, so that's kind of the penalty of spending these cards because you're not going to get these cards back into your hand mm. until the beginning of the next decade. All right. And it's any action on the right? A any action on the right yeah. does not matter. It's just an Uno card, so to speak. Okay. However, cards to the left of your residence are basically a double check for this. However many cards are to the left of your tableau, that's how what round we should be in. So it's a it's just a bookkeeping way, a way to keep track. Also, I should note that even though, say for instance, I'm on this action, I can then spend another card with the same icon on my next turn to do the same action. I can stay there and repeat the same action. That is allowed. Okay? Cool. All right. Also, if there is a gold guild marker that is on the location in which I chose, so let's take, say for instance, I chose this action by playing the cross sword icon to my tableau. If there's that guild marker there, the player can optionally take the guild action after the main action, or you can just skip the main action and just do the guild action. But if you choose to do the latter, you still had to have paid the available card or the matching card to go into that location to use the guild action. Make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. If, mm -hmm. if, in this case, I choose to take the guild action, this will then move clockwise around as long as there isn't a guild marker there. But if it was there, then it would skip this location and move over to there. Easy enough. If, however, I choose to do just the main action and not the guild action, the guild marker stays there. Okay? Simple enough, right? Yep. Cool. All right, and again, if player elects to not take an action, either by choice or can't pay the cards to do so, you have to pass. You leave the action disc where it is from your previous turn, but you do get a consolation prize, which is draw one trade card into your hand. Mm. There's no hand limit either. Okay? Cool. All right, so now let's go over what the five actions are. And they're all pretty simple. It's just a matter of keeping them all straight in your head. All right? All right, so the first one is the market action. So the market action is this one with the table on it. This is basically how to get more cards into your hand. You take one card from the market into your hand. So there are five available cards out there at any given time. You just choose one, you take it. Or if you don't like the selection that's out here, you can always draw one from the top of the deck at random. Then, in addition to that, and actually I want to I want to point something out. So uh, at the top of each of these cards, it has a little player aid on it that says what you can do when you take that action. So first thing first, I played the market card. I moved my disc onto it. That's implied. Then I can draw one market card into my hand. Then optionally, I can exchange one hand card for a card that's in the market. The market refills or refills immediately. So if I choose this card and another card comes out, and maybe, oh, in second thought, I can always exchange this card that I just took with the new card or something out of my hand. Uh -huh. However, your base cards, you may never exchange. Those are in your hand forever or only in your tableau. Mm -hmm. You can only exchange available trade cards with that one that's out there. Okay, makes sense? Pretty simple so far, I think. And the little blue. And icon. then... The last thing that you can do here, the little blue icon, is you can turn a ship card in your tableau face up. So whenever you take a ship action, the special ability that's on all the ship cards, you turn it face down and it's no longer available. We'll get more into that here in a little bit. So that's the market action here. Any questions on that? No? Good. All right, moving on. The second one is the residence action, which is the little house icon and I will show you actually let me get one there we go get a trade card so or a uh, base card so you guys can see it so the uh, resident action here this is basically how to get more influence discs here all right so I play the card I then move my disc over to that action I would have to pay another card if there were any disc one card per disc 
that's on that available action. And then I have to pay the associated cost in trade cards only by discarding them, or the, the associated, okay, so let me talk about this. You have three columns here of goods. So the left column, if you want to remove an influence disc and it always must be removed top to bottom, you would have to pay three silk cards from your hand or three oil cards or three uh, glass cards out of your hand. Okay, so we have silk here, we have glass, oops, there we go, we have glass or oil, all right? So you would have to discard three of those out of your hand into the discard pile, and then by doing so, you can clear off the top spot and you get an another influence disc. Simple enough, right? The middle one, as you guys can see, it requires two cedar cards, which those guys look like that, so two cedar. These will increase the strength whenever you go into battle for ship cards, more on that in a little bit. And then the last column, you need two jewelry cards, which those, yep. jewelry cards, notice the symbol. So you need two of those. And again, once you do that, you then unlock the influence disc or in the case of the bottom down here, influence discs for that action. Easy enough? Cool. So that is the resonance action. All right. So the next action that we're going to talk about is the trading dock, which is the bag symbol. This one and the next one are, in fact, I'm going to talk about both of these at the same time. Both of these are very, very similar. So this is the first step in getting more ships. And the, uh, the warship dock action which, with the cross swords is an alternate first step to getting more ships but it's the exact same thing. So what would happen is you would have to play the associated card, you would move your action disc over on the action board, and then you have to take one available action disc, or I'm sorry, one available influence disc from your available supply, and then place it. If it's to the trading dock, it goes to one of those five locations, basically to reserve your spot for an available ship. The warship, harbor has those two locations for very similar reasons okay so the important thing to note one player cannot occupy all of a harbor whether it's the trading dock or the warship dock you can't occupy all of one location okay and they're worker placement esque so if i'm here no one else can go there but you can go to the available spots you can also have more than you can have more than one you just can't have all of them correct so you can't have five out there mm -hmm. okay one cool thing that i really want to highlight i am never a fan of puzzle boards however the way this is done is really ingenious if it's two player only these two are removed <laughs> and it's just that Three player, this one's removed, and with four player, all of those are out there. I thought that was really clever and well That's done. Cute. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So we've now covered four of the available five actions, right? So we have the market, which is market get cards here. The residence, which is how to exactly just like that, and then we have the uh, the trade dock and the warship dock to be able to put discs out here which means the only action that we haven't talked about yet is the harbor delivery action, which is the little handshake above a bag and the cross swords, okay? So this is the final step for acquiring ships. So again, play the card, you would then move your disc to the matching, pay any additional cards if you have to. This allows you to deliver goods to either the trading harbor, the warship harbor, or both. You can do either or or both if you have discs in both locations, obviously. You can only do one per, though. So for the trading harbor, talking about these five locations out here only, you select the ship at a dock where your disc is. So for instance, let's say my disc is there. I say, okay, I select that area. I have to pay the good that matches the ship that's on it. So in this case, it's an oil card. So let's say I had this out of my hand. I would then pay this to the discard pile. 
return this back into my available supply. Available meaning these are still can be used, okay? Then I take this card, but before I do so, you'll notice the number of coins that are right here. So this says five coins. So I would then flip trade cards face over until I equal or exceed that value. So for instance, let's say I, I turned over this card, that's three, and then I turned over this card, total of five coins, I then take those cards into my hand. Cool, or if you exceed. So if I drew a three and then a six, that exceeds the five, obviously, so I take those into my hand. Any questions so far? Pretty simple, all right? Then I claim this card, this uh, ship card, and this comes into my tableau, like here, and now the special ability is available whenever I want, including right now, if I want, whatever the ability is, which we'll go over all those as they come up. Anytime I use the ship's special ability, I tap it, turn it face down, and it's not available again until when? Market action. Right, the market action, remember, and that's where you can flip one ship back face up to then reuse it. You see how it's now come full circle. So that is half of the harbor delivery action right there. So basically, pay the good, get trade cards equal to the coins, and you can use it. And you take your disc back. Then immediately, the conveyor triggers. So if I were to take this, this card would go here, this one would come over there, and we would flip the new one here. If it were that one, everything would just fill down. Cool? Easy enough? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, however, the warship harbor over here. So let's say it's Amanda's turn. She has that <laughs> there. She takes this action. She would pay the available or the cost in, in cards. Then she would immediately take this back into her supply. She would discard a trade card of her choice. Again, trade card meaning these cards, discard it. Does not matter what it is, but that's the payment for going on an expedition. Then we're going to draw the top ship card. So for argument's sake, let's say it's this card, okay? So she then compares the uh, danger value to her strength value. Her strength value right now is one. If she were to expose that one and take that influence disc, that's not four, they are not cumulative. That is a strength of three, okay? But as long as she equals or exceeds the value that's on the danger, then it was a successful campaign, okay? So what does that mean? So if she is successful, she then draws and reveals equal to the ship value, just like what we did for the trade, okay? Shows what those are and then takes them into her hand. Then she claims the ship, but this one comes in upside down. It's the spoils of war. It's, it's not available. It's a prize, exactly. But you have to earn by being able to take the trade action to turn it face up. Mm. Okay. However, if she failed, so maybe she fought one of these ships when she drew whatever the next ship is, and it <clears throat> exceeds the number one, which is how, what her strength is. In that case, whatever the drawn ship is goes to the bottom of the deck, and she gets a consolation prize, one trade card the end. Whee! That's it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, regardless of whether the trade, the uh, expedition was successful or not, if she wishes, she can then take the disc that she removed from there to place onto the available achievement tiles. So now let's talk about the achievement tiles. There are three decades in this game. So, these two correspond with the first decade, second decade, third decade. They are not uh, retroactively available. Meaning, if we are in the second decade, you can only place on the second decade achievement tiles. You cannot place on the first achievement tiles. That makes sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, what that is, so Amanda, we're in the first decade, she chooses one of the available locations. We're playing a four-player game, so the bottom location, bottom uh, spots are available. She pays that amount in coins, two, five, or eight, respectively, and this will stay there like luggage forever until the end of the game, and it's worth end game points. We'll go over these before we start the game. But that's the other consolation of successful or not, you get to throw it out there for an achievement. 
and those are worker placement esque, meaning you can only uh, place there if it's an available di or a disc is not already mm -hmm. on there. Okay, cool. All right, we're almost done. We got two last things to go over. So I mentioned the guild actions. So if I took an action that had a guild marker, I can take the main action or not, and then I can take the guild action. So if it's there, I have two options. First off, I can take the available uh, N available influence disc. Again, I have to have an influence disc available to be able to do this. I then can go to the, the guild hall, which is this location up here. You see all these are covered in coin values. I can pay that amount in coins and place this out there. So maybe I place it on the six. And that's going to be worth victory points at the end of the game, which we'll talk about here shortly. All of these, one spot per disc, this one is unlimited for 12. All right. The other option when you uh, for the guild action, you can either go to the guild hall or place it out here on the achievements. Again, only the available, only the current decade is available. You pay the coins, boom, done. And once the spots are full, the spots are full. Mm -hmm. Okay. The game ends after the third decade. At that point, you multiply the number of guild seats by the number of ships. So this is where guild seats comes into play. So you multiply this by the number of ships that you have claimed, whether they're face up or face down does not matter. Then you add up the victory points that you're going to score from the achievement tiles. First, whoever has the most points wins. You have said famously mm. that if a game has in-game scoring, don't uh, neglect the in-game scoring, right, Mike? Mm -hmm. Do not neglect these. I did in our first game, and I paid the price for it. But yeah, that is Carthago. So questions, feel free. Go over the multiply thing again. Okay, let me bring everything up for folks now. All right, so at the end of the game, the game ends after the third decade, and you multiply the number of guild seats, and don't forget, Shoes. you have, oops, you have guild seats here as well. So, two seats, oh. three seats, plus that, and let me fix that. Does that make sense? And you multiply that number by the number of ships that are available. That you have claimed. That you have claimed, right. And then you add up the value that you get from those. And, and multiply those two, add in your, in, your points here, and Achieve that's your it. score. There you go. Boom, done. Uh, that makes sense? <clears throat> so let's go ahead and go over the achievements real quick, the ones that are in the game. There are three per decade. So one of them is obviously not available in this. So actually, I'll let Amanda so I can get a drink of water for okay. a second and third. All right, so let's see here. This one is residence. For each, resi in each influence disc you remove from your residence board, you get three points. And again, your residence board is this. So for every disc that you've removed, you get three points to a maximum of 12. I see. All of these are max of 12. Then this one is Guild Hall. For each disc you have in the Guild Forum, you score four. There you go. Including these or not? Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, uh, that one is for the Forum. Mm -hmm. This is the Guild Hall, too. This is the right. one with the disc. So the Forum is this. Ah. Uh, okay. And then four points apiece for every disc there. This is ship cards. For each set of different or identical ships, you get score VP as follows. For... Zero different, zero for one, zero, two, one, three, three, four, six, five plus different, ten victory points. There you go. Or five of the same, mm -hmm. and it's all the model yeah. of the ship. And then this is for each disc in the largest continuous block. Meaning you score just three. follow the snake, and it's always orthogonal. Okay. And then this is goods. It's similar to this. But, but same that's going to be for these. Yep. Okay. And then this one is residence two. For each influence disc next to your residence, you score three points. Meaning, how many discs do you have left, not used? Mm -hmm. You score that are points here. For that. They're off of here, but you haven't used them. That makes sense. I mean, obviously, I'll, I'll walk your, I'll walk you guys through this. So just to be clear to everybody, Amanda and I have played this once. Matt and and Mike have yet to play it. So this is they get to be guinea pigs tonight. So uh, the game, when we set the game up, 
uh, where the guild holes are here. I drew two cards off the top of the deck and that dictated where the two guild holes are. So these two go into the discard, which is going to be just off camera right here. And the only other thing that I want to go over, I guess we ought to go over the, uh, you know what, we'll go over setup actually. Uh, once we get there, it's just a reset phase. Everybody is going to get though, uh, everybody is going to get, you know what, let's just go over it real quick. So we're going to move the decade marker. We're going to place the round counter back to one. We're going to clear and replenish the market, meaning all these cards go away. The ships do not move though completely. Uh, obviously the new achievement tiles are available and then the end ship will move and then a conveyor. So one new ship will come out. Determine start player, which is whoever has the most available discs. Then take your cards back into your hand, meaning any cards that you have played to either side, you take back into your hand. And then everyone's going to get three new cards. Means this is decade in. Yes, at the end of the decade, okay. So the only last thing to go over are the special abilities, which to be honest with you, the graphic design on this is pretty solid. Um, so we'll go ahead and start left to right here. So this guy, it's called the Escorts. It can be used when delivering uh, to the warship harbor. Even after the ship card's been revealed, you get an increase of strength plus two. It's pretty good. So whenever you're fighting here, drawing off the top of the deck, this adds two to your to your strength. If you choose to spend it. Yes, okay. correct. This next one, wipe the market. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, this one, this is how you retroactively get access to the achievements from a previous decade. This one, actually I don't think we've seen this, the commando can be used when uh, the warship dock, if all regular space are filled, instead place your influence disc on the anchor symbol. This disc acts just like any other influence disc in the warship harbor and is returned to your residence. So basically it makes a third spot available to you. Okay. Okay. And this is move a token from no, the current it just decade backwards. No, it just makes it available for you to. So oh, if we're in the second you decade, into it. you can play into the okay. first decade. This one, uh, whenever you take the uh, uh, residence action, instead of spending three goods, you only have to spend one less or two goods, respectively. Just spend one less. See. Okay. That's the same there. And this guy here is when choosing, uh, can be used when choosing an action space. You don't, uh, doesn't need to show the chosen action. Hold on. The card that you use to pay doesn't have to match where you're, what action you're taking. Oh. Okay. A little yeah, we didn't see that on one. That. Yeah. Okay. Wild action card, basically. Yeah, ba basically that's all it is. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's see. Um, it sounds like everyone's just talking about random stuff, so I guess there's no questions in the peanut gallery. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and start, or actually, Amanda, why don't you start okay. so that the fellas get to see uh, a, a couple of more. actions beforehand. Five, six. Yeah. Okay, so before we start, though, in reverse turn order, meaning starting with Sweater Mike, he gets to place a disc out here on the Trade Harbor. Oh boy. So basically, the things that you need to keep in mind here are what ship do I want, mm -hmm. right? But also remember that if somebody also activates further downstream from you, it's going the conveyor is going to go before you activate. Mm -hmm. So just be aware of that, okay? Yep, and go ahead and place your bets now, y'all. And I want to make sure that in reverse order, in residence. Oh, and also, you take it from the top spot in any of the, on your residence card. So you actually get a head start, so you actually get a fourth disc. Oh. So which one do you want to start with? Guild seats on the oh. left, strength in the middle, in the middle. or you're closer to getting a double action disc spot. Ooh, that's a tough one. I know, right? That's a Even tough one. Game, you I'm have a tough decision. going with busting heads. <clears throat> Um, if I have to come back in here, I'm cracking skulls. I'm cracking skulls. Okay. I swear to God, I'm cracking some skulls. Um, I 
And remember, your uh, player cards, your, your base cards, all have a little reminder as to what the actions do. So there's Sweater Mike. Matt, choose one from the top of yours. Okay, and then place it out there in the harbor in any of the four available spots. So you, things you're looking at. What goods do you have in hand, mm -hmm. right? So as an example, I'll use my hand as the example. So I have these three goods, right? So I'm looking maybe at this one, or maybe at this one, or maybe at this one. So because I know I can claim those by taking the ship action, right? And remember, ships are in-game scoring multipliers. In addition to that, the other things that you're looking at is the coin value. The mm -hmm. higher the coin value, usually what we've seen is the weaker the action, the higher the coin mm -hmm. value, the more trade cards you're going to get, in theory at mm -hmm. least. It's a random draw, so you don't know. All right, then for me, um, I did really horribly at this in my first game, but I'm going to try it anyway. I'm actually going to go ahead and take that for the guild seats. So there, then I will go ahead and... It's like a magnet doesn't want you to go in there. I'll go there, even though I don't have a cedar card in my hand. Okay, I'm going to take this one right here. And remember, all your player tableaus are on camera here, so playing to the left of, uh, playing to the left of your board, and then put the ships to the right and just kind of stack them up. You'd be surprised at how long it took me to manipulate everything to get everything on camera. Whew. Shouldn't doesn't sound like it should take long, but all right. So Amanda, play a card. Okay. Apparently, I'm standing at the bottom of the slip at the end of the shipyard. Right. So you're the most vulnerable right now to not getting that, but you're mm -hmm. also getting first dibs on whatever comes out, right? Mm -hmm. If one of us triggers those earlier. Yeah, what was with all these small boards out here? I'm wondering what the ratio would be to just making one board with places to put cards. And I mean, it gives the you the ability boards. to manipulate things around, but for the camera, man, this was tough. Okay, I'm going to play residence. Okay, so the blue disc goes to the residence. There's no markers. There's no guild marker. So, okay, move on. So I'm going to spend two jewelry. Okay. To take these two off. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. And throw them up top. So, for, Oh, no. Never mind. Folks can see them there. Good. All right. Wow. I, 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 had, I had a plan. I, apparently she did. So technically this should move to Amanda and she's in charge. So after Mike takes an action, we then need to remember to move that each turn. Um, so my gut was to... Just, we get for this so we to oh, actually, there. that's a good idea. We will go there. There we go. Um, all right. So let me look at my hand real quick. And so there are a couple things that I want to do first off. So I do want to take a market action here, but there's no guild marker on that. So, man, this is really hard. Do I, do I take the guild action now and lock in one of the spots? You know what? I am going to. So I'm going to actually play the bag, which is the uh, the trader location. So I will play that. So my marker then goes there, as Mike has done. So then I can take an available, place it out into the only available spot that's available to me. Then I will take the guild action, so we'll move that when I'm done. But to take the guild action, I have to spend one of these. And I will go ahead and place it here. We're in the first decade, so I owe two coins. So that means I have to spend... So you have the, oper you have the option of going into the accomplishment or into the guild hall? Exactly. It's an either or. Okay. So I will go ahead and spend three coins. You do not get change. From the chat. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm spending three coins there, or I'll do this. There. I'm spending three coins. It doesn't matter any other information. It's just I'm spending three coins there. So I discard that to be able to pay the two coins there. Boom. Done. So the guild 
that now moves to there. And my turn is done. So I don't know if that's a good sign that everybody's talking about yeah, Misery I don't Farm know either. or in like not at all talking <laughs> about Carthago. So okay, all right, all right. So I will do this. Okay, so there you go. So mark it. You can take one of these five, or if you don't like any of those, you can roll the bones, and they're all equally distributed as far as uh, the the types of goods mm -hmm. that are in there. So I'm looking at what action it has good it is and how much money it's worth. Exactly, right? Um, it's kind of hard to ignore the sixes. More coins, better for those. Mm -hmm. uh, but also the good, because you're red, so you're looking at glass. Maybe glass is a good one for you, but then again, cedar might come up. But, well, actually, you're the only one that could trigger that, so... But then you're also looking at the resources that you have out here that you want that maybe to be able to do that. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of a lot, yeah, of, a lot of things yep. to think about. Yes, Renji, there are only two silver discs. We got three as well. Um, the third one is just extra. I will take this. The the glass googly eyes. There you go. <laughs> All right. So this now immediately refills. And now you can exchange any of your trade cards, May, mm -hmm. with any of these five. You cannot take from the top of the deck because obviously it's a trade action. And yeah, I'll trade this for, for that. that. Okay, so that goes out and there. And if you had any ships, you could turn them face up. You do I'm not. Glad. You are done, sir. Mike. Okay, so I'm going to make sure the first step in, in going for ships is either this or this. To be able to put discs out here. You mm -hmm. already have a disc here, correct. Or the harbor delivery action. Right, to actually acquire the ships. And here, here, or both. But you have no disc in the warfare, uh, warfare market or a harbor. So. Okay, we are going to cure that. I'm playing the crossed swords. Okay, so move your disc there first, and then place your disc on, doesn't matter which one. Done. Easy enough. Now, you may take a guild action, if you wish. And which disc goes there? Yeah, one yeah. from your mm -hmm. tableau. From exactly, yep. yep. Okay, that can I, get a little tight there. Yeah, I am going there. And now you owe a minimum of five coins. Five there coin. you go. Bueno. Fini. And advance. Exactly. And now second round. Okay. Uh, actually, John, it, it does. I mentioned that at the beginning. It's mm -hmm. a re-implementation, but it's very much its own game. I have not played it, but I read what Burned wrote, that there's a lot of things removed and... A lot of things added, so it's just basically a similar game, but completely different. So what are you thinking? I am thinking about that I want to get more, I want to get more discs off because really? I want... Greedy? Well, I want to be able to fight and get ships with the warship. Greedy? Just Whatever. saying, you have five, Mike and I have one. Well, that sounds like a personal problem to me. <laughs> Doesn't really sound like my issue. Um, so let's see, um, don't really, I definitely can't fight right now because I would lose. Odds are, because yeah. you only have one strength. That That's correct, sir. But um, you would get a chance to put a disc up in the achievements. Yeah. So even if you lose, that's, so you get one trade card, but mm -hmm. you also can put a disc up top. Uh, and what is... What would the what is the market again? I forget. Look at the top. Well, that's not very clear to me. Okay. So, that's why so I'm the market it. says you get to draw one of these cards and you can or trade this, one, right? and then you can trade one. And, and if you had ships, you could flip them. Face up. Okay. One, one ship. One not ship. Ships. Ah, one Correct. ship at a time. Okay. Welcome, um, Jacob. Let's see. There's no. Okay, so there's no trees, no cedar on the board. So I'm going to take the market action. Okay. 
So put me on the market, and since Matt is already there, I have you to have play, to play another card. You have to play any card that you wish to the right of your tableau. And the, again, the reason you're playing it to the right is we're in round two. There's two cards to the left. We can verify mm -hmm. that. Okay. And then I can draw off the, t off the top if I don't want to do those, yes? Correct. And then you may exchange any one trade card in your hand for any of those five. No, nope, I choose not to do that. Okay, and you have no ships. You're done. No, there's a guild action there, yes? Oh, there is. I apologize. Yep. Um, if you have the discs available. I have a couple. <laughs> Let's do... Yes, Adam, happy Friday. Spend, overspend. Four. So four. Here. There we go. And that's four per disc in here or here. I believe it's only on the left. And let no, me it's only on the left. This is contiguous uh, in there. Okay. And actually, I just want to verify that real quick. I know I said that, but for each disc you have in the guild forum, correct? And the forum, just to be clear. Uh, Uh, da, 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 da. I'll look it up here in a minute, just to be clear. All right, so for my turn... Yeah, I, I did the guild action, so that needs to move. Good right? call. Yep. There we go. All right. Okay. Man, that's not what I want, though. All right, so I, for my turn... I'm going to go ahead and market action here. So if you would, go ahead and move me over to the market action, which where everybody is. So I have to pay two cards. So I need to, I need to be judicious in what I choose here. So, ooh, that's risky, but I'm going to do that. So. I'm going to play these two because there's two discs over there. So that leaves me a total of five cards in hand to be able to take three actions after this. So then I get to select one card. I will select. And oh, this is actually pretty interesting. So the things that I need to take into consideration, just like what Matt said, well, the coins are the obvious get, right? But as is the actual the action. Mm -hmm. The action, because I did just pay two actions, right? Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to go lesser coins and go ahead and take that one for that action. Mm -hmm. We refill immediately. And then I'm going to actually pay, exchange that glass now for the jewelry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there is no guild action. The turn of the yellow player is complete. Make me what? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear it. Gl glory to freaking Rome. Okay, all right. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, replan. All right, Matt, you're up. All right. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and play that guy. All right. We're going over here. Okay. And I'm going to get that ship there. Okay, so you're red, so you owe a glass, all right? So you discard the glass, you take this. Before you do so, though, you draw trade cards, and if you don't mind, I'll do it. So a total of eight coins. There's four. There's four. So there you go. So you take these two into hand. You get this disc back into your supply, and this space up and you're available, uh, you can use that at any time. Now does the conveyor move now? Yeah, it immediately moves. There, 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 and oops. Whoa. Bit aggressive. It's a good thing Amanda didn't try. You're talking about that, that was a six eh. danger. Oh my that, gracious. That is a monster warship Yikes. right there. All right, so that's it. Well, Mike. Now I wanted to look up for the uh, forum. Go ahead. 
If you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask. I think we're going to go fight. All right. That's a bit aggressive. Yep. All right. So, well, you, so you owe that action, first uh, off, yeah. and then a second card to the right of your tableau. Good. And, and your choice. How about that one? Okay. All right, so you're good. Now, remember, you can do both of these if you wish. Oh, I can. You absolutely can, because you have discs in both harbors. Oh. Action efficiency opportunity. So I can buy that ship for one glass. Is that right? Yes, you can. Consider it done. Okay, so there, and draw for up to... A total of eight coins. Low numbers, low numbers. <laughs> Lots no of whammies, cards. No whammies, big bucks. Stop. There okay. you go, there's your eight. Eight it is. So you get this, you get this, you get this. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. The discs are coming back to roost. Uh, uh, all right, now we fill the gap. Oh, that's mm -hmm. lovely. It was even might be important if he's going to fight next. Yeah, so the three came off, just FYI. Okay, so now you say you're going to fight? Absolutely. All right. So first things first, you have to pay a trade card to the discard pile of your choice. Hmm. Thank you, Christopher. All right. So your honor, sir, I'll let you reveal your own doom. Four. A strength of. Me. Yep. So okay. So you have a strength of three. Mm -hmm. Right? A four. So that gets discarded immediately. Nope. Over to the bottom of the ship ah. deck. There. And my disc comes home. It does. And then you get a consolation one trade card, sir. Okay. And then, whether it's successful or not, remember, you can choose to pay to go to the achievement. Not to the guild hall. The guild hall's for winners. No, not really. <laughs> um, the, the, the guild hall's for closers. Closers. Right, the, yeah. Put that coffee down. <laughs> the, uh, it's actually only, the guild hall is literally only through that. So. All right. So. Yeah, I like the art. I, I'm not so keen on the art here on the uh, on the trade cards, yeah, but I love the, the ships. The, the Google guys are a little freaky. Just glass. Yeah. Just ancient Carthaginian decoration. I'm going to decline. To okay. put a disc in there. Okay, so the turn of the black player is complete. Mm -hmm. Round three of the first decade. It's really unfortunate. When Matt and I were looking at the setup of this, I mm -hmm. said, I'm getting a Seven Wonders feel from it. And I don't think I am anymore. I, I think this I is think, much I more... I think the artwork is playing into that a bit, yeah. too. yeah. Well, also in the score pad, it's this plus this times this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which we don't need. I already tweeted out a picture after Amanda destroyed me on Saturday. Okay. We don't need to talk about that anymore. I'm going to use the bag to put... The trade the harbor. The trade harbor. Okay. Right there. And so can you put me on there, please? Yep. Um, and I, I uh, choose to not do a guild action. Okay, so the guild marker stays there in this case. All right, so my turn. Um, so at this point, uh, oof, that's tough. Let's see, I want that, and then I want to keep that, so I will spend those. Okay, all right, so for my turn, we are going to take the, uh, the residence action. So looking out here, going to the residence action. Cool. All right. Good deal. So that means I'm going to play here on my tableau. I'm going to go ahead and discard two jewelry to take that disc off. Yay! That goes there. There is a guild marker there. However, I'm getting real thin on cards and I still have two more actions to go. So 
I only have two coins here in my in my hand. They're not listening. Don't worry. Uh, mm -hmm. Only have two coins here in my hand. And if you look out here, I cannot afford to go there. So I actually elect to not. So I it could, stays. but it stays there. So it stays. Turn of the yellow player is complete. All right. So are you guys starting to get a feel for how this works, both Mike and Matt, as mm -hmm. well as those at home? It's not a complex game, but it's got some depth here. There's some wiggly paths yes, through. There you are. have to react, and yes, yep. I like that. I like it so far. All right. I'm also going to take the residence action. Okay. That means I'm going to put another one over here. Get out. It can be a. Too bad, it can too be bad we can't stay. stay. <laughs> <laughs> it can be either uh, kind, right? Yeah, it's a card. It does not matter what it is. In this case, because you're not discarding mm -hmm. and staying to your tableau, it can be any type of card. Oh, I got to remember what this guy's special ability is. Uh, so that one is. I can do any, it's the wild card. Correct. You don't have to match this with that. That makes what I'm doing now important. Okay, cool. All right. Because so I can still, even though I'm putting this here, even though it happens to be my last one, I can still do that action if I choose to use the ship to do so. Okay. I don't lose, John, so no. <clears throat> no, not a problem. So the other thing I was going to do is here, I'm going to go ahead and pay the two wood. Okay, cedar. Sir. Cedar. Because they smell good, right? Mm -hmm. So now your strength is up to three. Oh, and also I, I guess I should have mentioned that if we run out here, we just shuffle discards, right? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. And there is a guild action available is... if you wish to take it. And Adam says, is it wrong for me to feel comfortable with the chaotic Euro look of this game than I was with Soul the other night? No, no. What, hey, different strokes for different folks. There's a Plenty lot going on here on this table. There is. And I'm telling you, man, I, this is why I spend, this is why I get this ready. I try to get it ready early in the day for mm -hmm. the evening stream mm -hmm. because how to fit this on the camera. That was hard. And to be able to get everybody's tableau on there. That's why you get paid the big bucks. I guess literally now, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, he's thinking, when yeah. can I use that action? Uh, it's specifically when you need to. So that okay. one, it says, can be used after, during, or before an action. It says an action. It doesn't say your action, but I think it's implied your action. You can't be, you know, a douche to do that. Wow, oh, paid eight. Oh, oh wait, he, there you go. Paid eight to go. Wow. All right, so um, yeah, who has uh, two thumbs and ain't going there? Amanda. Also, I want one thing I failed to mention. You can only have one disc per achievement tile. All also. right. Okay, so cool. So you did take the action? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mike. All right. I'm going to exercise this and clear the market. All right, so all five of these get wiped. That's actually good that I brought that down there. Mm. <laughs> Didn't have it up higher. Mm -hmm. Cedar. Mm. <sighs> a little shaving oil. Harken back to earlier today. We have a little glass, some more beautiful cedar. Wow. I actually really like the look of that mm -hmm. card. It's I think it's the green that yes. I always take. All, all right. right, since I got what I wanted. All right. We're going to play a market action. Okay. Move the black disc to the market action. I mm -hmm. am going to take the cedar card. Okay. This one? Yes. I mean, there is, this might be a different action that you want, so that's why it's uh, higher coins, but. No, I'll take the higher okay. coin. Okay. And then. This grief fills immediately. Would you care to exchange for a cedar card, sir? Yes. Okay. Now we have the best of both worlds. Boy, that smells good. Yeah. It smells like green. Um, <laughs> sir, that's a seat, or that was a uh, mar or a uh, market action. You can flip your ship. You can. Oh. <laughs> it's a self-flipping ship. That is outstanding. All right. Whoop. All right, squirrel, you're up. <sighs> and there's the next action. All right. Um, I got. I can see a few moves ahead now. John got jokes tonight. Yeah. I am going to 
go to the pick up stuff action. Or the uh, oh. the pick up stuff action is exactly what it's called. Or the harbor delivery or, action. Or I, I mulligan that and I go to the market. Because <laughs> I right. forgot something. You, you owe another card then? Um, I will do fight. Okay. And let's see if we can get lucky. Do you wish to exchange? I do not wish to exchange. And you have anything. no pile of ship. That is correct. Do you and done? Do you and done, so. All right. So, boy, do I have a conundrum. We definitely need some of that cedar in here. Asher has happened. Oh. So, here's my conundrum I have three cards, and I have two actions. I really want to be able to take this action, but it would cost me my last two cards, which means I would not be able to take that action that I want to take in the final Ooh, turn. Make it a good oh, one. Goodness gracious. But the problem is, if I take this action, I cannot actually do that action because I do not have the oil, nor do I have the glass. <sighs> I could pass now and just draw a card. But instead, I think I will just go ahead and play that, which is going to cost me two cards out of hand oh my. to do so. But, but, that action allows me to draw a card, right? So that yeah. at least there's that. So I will, I will take the cedar. We will refill. How about all that glass? That's what oh, happened last time, too. This go here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I like the cedar card, to be honest with you, but I like the cedar for that originally. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to exchange the cedar that I just took for that card. And I have no ship. The turn of the yellow player is complete. Welcome, Nerfenstein. Welcome right. back. Right. Welcome back. And yes, Renji, sleep is overrated, unless you're Amanda. Then it's not really at all. Okay. Marco? No, I threw it out there. Nobody. Okay. Polo? Boy, you people are slow. <laughs> oh, sorry, Banking. Marco. Had, had, to, had to happen. I'm going to go fight. There's or at least throw one good. out there. Okay. Done? Yeah. Okay. When you catch back up, John, let us know and, and see if it makes sense after the fact then. Yep. Gonna keep on, keep on keeping on. Residence. Residence. Which is here. By the way, this is a lot harder with more than three people. Two, and they're dummy players. Two, two lovely cedar. Mm -hmm. Now upgrades our fighting capacity to five. And what does this arrow mean? It's end game scoring. Ah. Interesting to note that the highest you can go there is five. Yep, there are sixes. There are. You because can't win. there are ships yeah. that here. But what you asked for right there, what, uh, what Mike is pointing at at the top right of the screen there, here, I'll show folks, is if you clear an entire column, it's worth one guild seat at the oh, end of the game. Ooh, okay. I overlooked that. My, my apologies. No worries. Uh, da, 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 da. Did the residents. Got that. Got that. I'm done. All right. Whoop. Final round. Okay. Now I'm going to do the... The pick up stuff action, please. Thank you. The uh, harbor delivery action. And for the harbor delivery action, I'm going to pay a silk to get that ship. So you get this back. Five coins. Go ahead and flip them. Oh, five coins. That's unfortunate. There you go. Oh, hold on. They can't see that. I drew five. Exactly. Yep. Glass five. Go. Yep. So this goes there. like that. Nope. 
It doesn't come. I thought it came upside down. From here. Ah, oh, from there. Up. There we go. All right. Then I am. Um, Put it where the coin is, because folks, there you go, or or not. Um, I'm thinking. Give me a second. I'll fix it. Um. Mm. Yeah, sure. I'll go ahead and pay the five that I just got and go here. And then that moves. The um, guild action moves. You can't have two in a deck. Correct. Can you? Ah, fine. So the guild action does not move. The guild so action does not move, and I keep my. You could five. go one more, and you could get here. Yeah, yep. I just I don't want to spend that many. I don't want to spend that many cards. The guild stays. Yep. Okay, so we refill here. Another, another plus Ooh. on the warship there. And at the end of this decade, we will clear the tokens on the war? No, not at all. They Just remain. this ship will go away, these will go away, and some other upkeep stuff will happen. Oh, that's too bad. Um, no, I'm staying there until I can do something. Uh, I will have to pass. Here's why. That's a residence action. I cannot take the residence action. And looking out there... There is no guild marker on the residence action, so I couldn't even do that, even if I wanted. But I couldn't pay for it either way, so I will pass, and I will get my card for passing. Done. All right. <laughs> yeah, the googly eyes are a little freaky. I sound like Barack Obama at one and a half speed, apparently. <laughs> You know, there are worse things to be called. That's there, true. There are. That is true. I would be pleased to sound like Barack Obama <laughs> at any speed. <laughs> I'm going to go there. I'm going to pay five. Oh, you're going to pay. Yeah. Oh, you'll pay. Mm -hmm. You are going to pay. All right. So now you have to pay a trade <laughs> card to be able to take the war action. So discard that. And your honor, sir. Worst case scenario, I get another card back. And I get another card back. All right, so that's five combat. You have three. You lose. You get a card. You then get this. And then if you want, you can take that to go to either of those areas. I'm sorry, no, only to the achievement, which is a minimum of five cost. Mm -hmm. I would like to, but no. I think I, I, think I choose not to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the ship goes to the bottom of the deck. Feeny, bring it home. End of decade one, sir. Okay, so let me think this through here. <clears throat> They're staring into your whole, your soul, Adam. Harbor delivery action doesn't do me anything. Uh, you, uh, not, you, could not get true. you could get you the guild. You can do the guild action, exactly, but it would cost you two cards in addition to go there. Right. And remember, you're going to get all your cards that are in your yes. tableau back. Yes, Trade indeed. cards or base cards. Uh, I could put a disc out and take a, an achievement action. I don't hate that, but I do hate to get rid of my trade cards because I keep those. Correct. Okay. And you're about to get more as well. <clears throat> well, let's do what we did last time. Clear the deck, please. All right, so these go away. Oh, uh, I'm going to need to pay that. And that. There you go. Jewelry, cedar, oil. Jewelry? Oil. Hmm. Uh, I will take the that jewel reaction. No, this jewel reaction, please. And we grefill. And I will take the other jewelry, please. And you can refresh your ship. That is so All right, so awesome. we have reached the end of the first decade. So here, I'll run through what all we do. We move the decade marker first, Whoop. then return the round indicator back to one. 
discard all trade cards from the market and five new ones, Amanda. The achievement tiles associated with the current decade are now usable. Remove the frontmost ship and conveyor it up. That goes, yep. So the player with the most available influence discs now uh, is the start player. Oh, no, sorry. Hold on. No, no, you do right. There's a big tie here. There you go. Uh, that one. There we go. So I will have to look up tiebreaker. So let's see. Uh, um, I believe it was next in turn order is what, let me see, uh, player is next in turn order becomes the new start player. Okay, so there's a tie of four, four, and four, so next, so Matt becomes first player. There you go, cool. So Matt becomes first player. Uh, and now every player at the beginning of the second decade gets two new cards, and you pull those back into your hand. Yep. So you're first, so. Oh, trade cards. Oh, the world is my oyster. And uh, all of these reset as well. There we go. All right. And begin. So I went from having one trade card that I had to actually play as my last hand card to having five now. That's helpful. How'd you get to the five? Because I took one for passing. That gives me mm -hmm. two now because the one that I had to play down to my tableau. And then uh, there was, I just drew two. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I had previously played one down there. So yeah, so I go from, as one of my payment cards. Oh, those come back. Exactly, sure. Ah. It's back in my hand, ah, right? So that doesn't hurt so badly. Well, it does temporarily. Yeah, it it, it does come back, right? It takes the sting away at the beginning of the next round. And so now, second decade is the only other time we'd be able to use that. It's effectively out, gone. But if you played in the third decade as an action. Yeah. Yeah, fair point, okay. yes. All right. I'll go right there. Uh, it does not, as of right now, I'm hoping may, this might be one that Maple Realty has time to work on. And, yes, yes, we will take that, that guild action. We'll overpay slightly. All right. So you remember what that was, right? That is the uh, same and or different ships. Right, it's either or. It's either mm -hmm. the same set or different set of ships. Okay, cool. Hey, welcome, Dave. All right, so the guild moves forward. Okay, because he used the guild action. Correct. Black player is taking. I don't the believe you. Residence action. Okay, now I do. Uh, here are two jewelry to get this tile or this influence marker. Yep. And. Yes, Dave. Uh, I announced at the beginning that uh, Capstone has already signed this, and we were allowed to announce that tonight, that uh, this will be available at Origins next year. Yep. I'm going to overpay to place a marker here. All right. And you remember what that is, right? That is a snake in the Correct. Guild yep. Hall. The longest snake for you. Yep. Three there's, points per. There's snakes in the guild hall? Yep. There's snakes, snakes in the mother up in guild hall. That what she said. All right, yeah. squirrel, you're up. Uh, hold on, wait, black. Do you uh, you took the guild action, I right? Did. So we skip this spot and move it to the next one. Okay, I'm going to take the uh, market next action. Action. I am going to pick up this cedar. Smells good, doesn't it? <coughs> no, it smells like Asher still. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Way too hard. And that's all I'm going to do. You're not going to exchange? I'm not going to exchange. Okay. Well. Ooh, silky goodness. A lot of low value silk. All right. I think my action is pretty straightforward, but God, I'm tired of paying extra. Um.
yeah, the market sucks right now. So I'm hoping that uh, that my friend Mike there will fix that. So it could happen. It could. So I'm looking at what my action that I need to take is, and it will be residence action. So we'll go there. I'm going to owe one card. And since I have two in the harbor already, I don't think I'm going to need that this, this decade. So that's the payment for the extra disc there. So then I will go ahead and pay six googly eyes <laughs> uh, to then clear that disc, which gives me two more guild seats, which in theory should be helpful. So that's gone. And there's no guild action, so the turn of the yellow player is now complete. Right. We'll play that guy there, so he'll be over there. Hold on, wait, Amanda. I, I went on the... No, yeah. No, yeah? No, yeah. Okay. No, yeah. And I will go ahead and I will take this ship right here. Okay. What kind of ship is this? Seriously. How I'm many coins? Glass ship. Making glass ships. How is many it? how many coins was it? That is six. Five. And here's your next Five. one. Five. Oh wow. That so you got ten yield. ten coin for a six ship. That was a win. That's a good yield. Okay, and you are red. Do you wish to take the guild action? I did just get like extra five bucks, but right. um, no, I think I'm good right now. Okay. All right. So the guild marker stays there. Mike? Oh, uh, hold on. And that, that I, can, the, I can do this one too, though, right? I, f I keep forgetting You can. About that. A guild, the guild hall is available. Yes. Because I keep looking over there and I keep forgetting that that's, that's there. Cool, James. Glad it's, uh, it's helping you decide. No, I, I still choose not to. Okay. You just wanted to know if you had the ability. Right. Okay. He's and just double checking. Check. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. All right, going to war. Going to war. Good guy, Joe. <laughs> what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, huh. At least so far, that's been our experience. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're coming for him. Oh, yeah. he we're says I got something. You you could clear the market just as a reminder. Um, why would I do that? Again? Oh, to be a team player. That's just right. Saying you could. That's right. Uh, let's think about this whole guild hall thing. <laughs> How you can you can clear the market? I, I could clear the market. I I could. Let's still have. Man, that minutes. looks like a disaster on the screen, though, doesn't it? It sure does. It's a train. I mean, there is a lot of stuff going on, but it's actually really clear once you learn it. But oh my god! That's okay, a lot of crap. Let's get in here. All right, cool. I'm out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, guild action. There you go. So for those that uh, that have been here since the beginning and are saw heard, heard the rules, are you guys able to follow along now? Okay, residence action, please. Residence. And I will pay another card because my lovely husband is there already. Yep. Slacker. Yep. Okay. So there's that. And I'm going to pay two cedar to get this. Mm -hmm. Is that better? So they can see what the special ability is. And that's it. Oh Alright. Oh my. <sighs> oh my. This could work. You guys are really going to make me do it, aren't you? Looks like it. All right, fine. Fine. And we'll take the market action there. So I'm there by myself, at least. Yep. With a guild action. Um, those suck, so I'm going to draw this. That's actually not terrible. Um, so in that case...
you know what? Let's stay on target. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and exchange this for the high value silk. Mm -hmm. And then I have a guild action if I want to take it. I have that planned. Let me make sure I get every all my all my in a row. So I have those, which means I oh, that's so dirty. So because the actions that I want to take are all my trade cards and I can't spend your action cards my, my base cards to do it. Mm -hmm. That's so stupid. No, I'm not taking a guild of stupid game. <laughs> stupid game. Not really, but all right, Matt, you're up. All right. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, Matt. Do, when you took the harbor action, where did your ship come from? Where I am. Right. Thank you. Good to back. Way to be on the ball, Christopher. Yeah. Christopher. Sorry, thanks. I will come over here. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, do I want to use that? Or I I'm think, pay. no, do the other. I'm going to use that one, but I'm going to flip this card. Okay, but you still owe another card. I do. Which, since I'm using that to do that, I'll do that one there. Okay. All right, so this isn't this. This is actually that. Right. Yep. Because of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This isn't that. It's be this because of that. Right. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Totally right. clear. Not at all confusing. Mm -hmm. Not at all. And all these are puzzle pieces to boot here, Dave. It's real great, but that does have a guild hall action on it. So maybe I just get some things so I just to throw in the guild hall and not overpay too badly, which is what was happening last time. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I figured. All right. There. And then do you wish to exchange any cards, sir? Are we playing La Havre all of a sudden? Okay. That's, just, that's just optional, right? Yes, so it is. No, I do not. Okay, that. you can flip up a ship, though. I can. And are you taking the guild action? Yep, and so this card will just become... All right. Mike? Okay. Yeah, in theory, the game moves pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, the short turns, uh, obviously, it's y'all's first game, so it's going to take a little bit longer, plus with the stream. But, yeah, I feel like it's moving pretty well. I did mention that ships are multipliers, right, Edward? Yes, you did. <laughs> okay. just, just checking. No, yeah, you, you certainly did, and I'm, I'm working on that uh, as we speak. <sighs> Yike. I am not good at this game. This Hashtag is your good second teacher. play. I know. Okay, okay. so I'm, I'm going to think out loud for a moment here. I have a black disc. It's, it's a moderate-sized black disc uh, over here in the <laughs> in the Warfare Harbor that I could go after him uh, with five strength and probably win a ship. A whole pile of ship. A whole pile of ship. On the other hand, I could go into here and do the double action and maybe pick up two ships in one go. And if you pick up this ship, that helps you here yep. because of the... So let's let's try yeah, that. I figured. Let's let's just try that. All right. So this there. comes to here. Throw a disc up somewhere, either here or... Oh, there. I'm going right. to take it right there. And then guild action, sir. And a guild action. Mm. Ouchie. Yeah, well, I, I could see that, Dave. That makes sense. I'd better on a big table, though. Decline to take the guild action pass. Okay. Squirrel. And three. Yeah, you really don't want any of those. People have taken all the cedar, and I'm not very happy about it. Cedar. I gave up cedar. I was a team player. I tried to get it to you. Can't help you. Blame Mike. Mike? I do. Mike? 
It ain't real blame if it's not on the board. <laughs> it's just, uh, eh, that's just unfortunate. A, an irritation. You have mildly annoyed me. Yes. I'm a little bit irritated. Just a little bit. Um, As opposed to D-I-A-G-F, right? Right. I'm just mildly irritated. Um, so for those of y'all that are watching, have y'all heard of this before this or not? I'm curious. Because I feel like this might end up being one of the hidden ones market. of uh, of Spiel. Uh, I'm I'm digging so this hold so on. far. Mark it again so you owe another card. That can't be the one that you just stealthily cheated and drew. It's not. Uh, you owe two cards, sorry. Oh, two okay, cards. that's fine. Okay, all right. So now you drew one card, now you can exchange one if you wish. No. All right, so you're done? Unfortunately. All right, so my action is going to be uh, expensive yet quick. I will play a trade card for the resident action. So the residents, they take my word for it, there's nobody there. So then I will pay two jewelry to then get both of these discs back home. And that's an extra guild seat, which kind of ties in with what I'm trying to do there. Excellent. And the turn of the yellow player is complete. See? Right. Easy game. But Quick. you're not nice. in here. I am not. Which would No, even... it's the next one. It's the one to the left of it. And that one I am on. You get three per disc removed from your, your residence board. Per open max... circle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right now I'm maxed out on that already. I'm at 12 points. Max 12. Excellent. Okay. Got it. Well, this is good. So let's see here. Jason said, yep, just join. The look of this one's enjoyable to me as later. Uh, as later. Uh, okay. Uh, John says, wow, going back to the rules helped a ton. I imagine it did. That's <laughs> weird. So James says, first time I've heard of it. Nerfenstein can safely say never heard of it. I'm generally, generally up with games. Um, John said he heard about it from someone else. No, I'm just kidding, from Rado. <laughs> uh, but penis. there was no other hype <laughs> that I'm aware of. And Rado didn't hype it hard. Mm -hmm. Adam says it's new to him. Jason said he'd seen it mentioned, but that was it. And, okay, and Renji picked this up at Spiel. Okay. And... Dave nice. had heard of it. Matthew had only heard of it from the weekly look ahead. Yeah. Cave Hines had hadn't heard of it before. Good. Good. All right, then Glad to hear we're this. doing our job, yes, right? Yes, we are. Okay. Doing this again. All right. It's going to be this instead. It's going to be something else. Oh, okay. so you're not going there. I'm so not, what I'm is not it going, going to be? It is going to be there. Okay. Dink. President, so you owe another I card. do owe another card. Uh, yeah, let's throw that guy there because he'll come back. It will come back. All right. And in that case, we will throw... It says max 12, Christopher. Or Christopher. Tell, how do you say your name? Christopher. I imagine. I imagine. I'm guessing. He didn't correct me earlier, so... We'll play those two, and we'll bring that. Okay, so those to clear off that. All right, cool. And no guild action for you. Hold on. You had one. Did you move that? I did. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's make some stuff happen. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my goodness, this could be delicious. All right, so which one do you want first, sir? That one. So you owe a jewelry, done. So now draw for five coins worth. Five coins five. worth, there you go. There and I get my there. disc back. Right. Chris, it is. All right, cool. Now. It's time to bust some heads. Okay, so you owe a trade card. You have to discard. Oh, I do. You do. All right. There so it the is. one you just got. <laughs> Thank goodness. And your honor, sir. Okay. Well, technically, hold on. Before you do that, Okay. this should have refilled. Uh -huh. So that will actually go here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was a three. So now it is your honor this to one. see who you're fighting. You're a fighting two. a two. Oh, my. Okay, so, so you win. This guy is going to kill him, and we're not even going to bother with it. Okay, okay so that one comes flipped over face down like it is. Go ahead and push him up so folks can see him. Right. However, I still get the five worth. You get, you get five coins worth, correct? Four. So four. Six. All right, Ooh. so ten, and that comes face down. 
you've got the coin. This now, if you wish, can go onto that board if you want it. Specifically, that one board here. Yes. Yeah, and then you probably want to go under me there. Actually, it's and this is types of ships, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have a... Three types of ships so far. Three types of ships. Which would be three points. Those are, that is a good question Jason has. Okay, I'll get there in a minute. Oh my gracious. Uh, that means I will not be able to execute that action. Oh, the choices we Yay. have. Oh, this is a delicious choice. Okay, so if I go here, I have three types of ships. That's worth three points now. It could go to six or ten with additional ship types. I kind of like that. Versus if I go in here, now that's going to be another three points. I think this is a no-brainer. Okay. Brains. He has none. There we go. All right, so then Decline. no guild action. All right, cool. So let me answer that question. So Jason asks a pretty good question. He says, did I demo this at Spiel? We, we don't demo anything at Spiel, so the answer there is no. How did you choose to get into this one first out of that big hole of boxes? Well, let me ask why I chose this first, not first, why it was on my interest list to begin with, which was um, Bern Eisenstein as well as uh, just reading the rules or, or doing a cursory overlook of the rules, it looked pretty interesting to me. Um, plus, I'm, I'm a sucker for the theme, you know, ancient Rome, Carthage, that type thing. Same here. And then, uh, then uh, Clay over at Capstone, actually, uh, he was a really big fan of it, obviously, and asked, wanted our opinion on it. And so we were going to play this early, and then we, we brought it with us to Extra mm -hmm. Life because the rules were pretty pretty easy. Uh, not, a, not a huge heavy game to learn in a loud environment like that. And so we tried it and then we were like, yeah, we ought to stream this. And here we are. All right, so. And then I paid this. I could do a guild action Asher, as well. It's okay, bud, wake up. Wake up, buddy. And then I will play, I'm gonna do Pay eight to thwart. Oh, you cut me off. I sure did. Oh, you cut me all off. All right, guild action mm -hmm. moves. All right. It felt an awful lot like an asteroid on my forest. I know, you know, I'm good at that. <laughs> well, I, I literally have uh, two actions that I can do, but I will go ahead and do that one. So we will go. Little Piggy went to market, so uh, I have no trade cards in hand, so I will go ahead Actually, I will take mm, I will take this one This better be awfully good and it is not I elect to take no further actions this turn so done and the fifth and final round of the second decade I we'll get to that James at the I end of the game if you want to ask it again then it word over here all right so I'm gonna pay that card right there and I will take the cedar oh okay and do you wish to exchange a five seater for a two seater <laughs> Like so, get a sports car. Right. Yeah. Game. Right. Exactly. Um, no, I think I, I think that's that's fine. All right, Mike. All right. Uh, I'm also coming over here to. Wow, that's an market. expensive action. Yeah, it's like, what do I care? That's my fifth action. Um, there you go. Yep. And. And remember, you have top of the deck if you wish. And I have this dude. Now, what's the special ability under here? Oh. Plus two more. Yep. Don't need that. When you went to market, correct. Yep. yep. Strike him harshwish into him. So I'm curious, since I know Christopher is watching, um, did you just read the rule book? Did you get a copy of this, Christopher, or what? 
clear them, please. All right. So these and five white. He's going to flip right back up. Yep. Four and five. Two cards left before we shuffle. Very well. Let's take this one. One card left till we shuffle. Do you wish to exchange? <sighs> yes. All right. And no guild action? Amanda, you're up. Pass. Okay. Well, uh, Oof. All right, so <clears throat> I, f oh, I, I'm, I feel like I'm being short-sighted by doing this, but I figure more cards are not a bad thing. So I'm going to go, little piggy goes to the market again. Plus two. And I owe two cards, which doesn't matter because I have plenty left in hand. I would it's my last action. So I will go ahead and take that guy. Will I? Yeah, I will take this and then there. And I do not wish to exchange it. That is the end of the second decade. So now move the decade to the third decade. Uh, discard, or I'm sorry, um, all this goes back, all those go back to the center. I discard all five that you just drew. We get more cards out there, please. The end ship wipes. Who has the most available discs? I think that's me. It is. Awesome. So I become the first player. Everybody takes all your cards back into your hand. There and there. And, and do we get two every, more? Nope, one more. It's third decade. So you get one new trade card. All right. So All right. That, that. So let's see. I that. have. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out my plan now. I think. I think I'm okay. To do that, so I drew well on that. So I will go there, there, there. I will wait to do that. I don't need those. That. There we go. Okay. So. Yeah, and this works out perfect. So I will go ahead and take the resonance action. There's the decade. Got it planned. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. So the resonance action. So we'll come out here, which does give me a guild action. So we will go three silk. So that clears this one, which is three, mm -hmm. which is actually four seats. Four plus that is five seats. Nice. Now plus there's that. So these go into the discard. So that's that, but there is a there is a guild action if I want to take it. Um, and the last the the two available ones there are going left to right are goods, just like the different different number of goods in hand. That is really important. They are in hand. Oh. Okay. Um, and then the residence for each influence disc next to your residence, you score three victory points. Out here. Um, yeah. And if you notice, I have all those puppies. So, yeah, I will go ahead and overspend. I will spend the four there to go and place this. There. Turn of the yellow player is complete. Done. Okay, Christopher said he just read the rule book. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's make Need to happen. move the guild house, right? Oh, yeah, I did take a guild action, so that puppy moves. Good mm. call. All right, Matt? Yep, you know what? I am going to do and this. Actually, you could do that, so save yourself some yeah. room. Go in there. I choose not to actually take that action. I'm just going to take the yield action. Right, which you did have to pay the card to move your disc there, mm -hmm. and you're skipping the main action to do the guild action. Cool. 
Yep, and uh, the cedar is going back so over there. So five coins for... Yep, there you go. And moves. Yep. Well, people ask if I ever have any, or, or you, Amanda, any inclination to design games. Nope. Zero. But it, this blows me away. Even a relatively simpler game like this has a lot of interlocking mech. How do you come up with this? Like, I have, I, it is lost on me. It is amazing to me. Flow charts, and, flow charts and spreadsheets, probably. Uh, I'm sure lots of Every opposing civilization in Civ Six calls me this at as well. Um, <laughs> uh, I am also going to execute the guild action. Okay. And I'm paying the eight. Wow, he's paying eleven. Woo! Paid eleven to take that, but wow, everybody expects to have a lot of discs, do they? I have five yes. left. All right, Amanda. More so than cards, apparently. Hold on, wait. Uh, that was my. First action, yeah, so we're still, yep. Mark it. Mark that little piggy, all right, she got her cedar. And would you like some glass or anything else to exchange, ma'am? Mm. No. <laughs> Christopher says, of course, I just now realized I read the rule book instead of making dinner. <laughs> Details, <laughs> priorities, dude. I think they're right where they need to be. Well, well hold on, wait. What were you going to make for Hot dinner? Hot pockets it is. Right? I was thinking TV dinner. Right. So I'm going to spend pizza, so. two to go here. Yeah, we, we went the order out or, or pick The guild up, house moves. Done. Wow. Or is it a live stream dinner uh, in the 21st century? Right. Uh, all right. So... Yeah, but they would just live stream ourselves eating dinner. I'm Can't sure people do. Yeah. Y'all do not want to see me. Stop. Yeah, it, it, it's really not. He's right. Um, all right. So for my turn, this little piggy's going to market. So there's one disc over, over there, Amanda. So I will. I'm not going to be a warmonger, it looks like. So I will go there. So my disc moves there. I will pick up a glass, the expensive glass. So that's uh, Tiffany glass it's right jewelry, here. Jewelry. Or it's, it's jewelry, Tiffany. right. It's still Tiffany, right. Um, nope, we're all set. Thanks, Don. And we're into the second one. All right, cool. Yeah, all right, so... Let's see, we make ground beef. So what else, what else have we got, Christopher? You can't just give a hat. Yeah, right? Sloppy Joes? Do we have, you know... Not on this making, gaming table. Right? Do, you know, a little parsley and some breadcrumbs and make some make some meatballs? Or are we make a burger? What are we making, Matt? You can't give half the info. I'm trying to stall for you, Matt. I know. Okay. Appreciate it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Team player. Oh my god, the Russians have this dish called, it's like, I think it's Kiev chicken or chicken Kiev. Chicken Kiev, yeah. So is it breadcrumbs crusted on the outside of a chicken breast and there's this complicated process of deep frying it and then baking it or baking it and then deep frying it so it comes out crunchy on the outside and, ooh, that's, that's. Some, You've never had chicken Kiev? No. Until you went over there, really? <laughs> Exactly. All right. Well, hey, you enjoyed it. That's all that matters. So I've now had Peking duck in Peking, in chicken Kiev, in well, okay, St. Petersburg. So <laughs> we won't judge. It's close okay. enough. That's fine. All right. Or tacos. Yeah, good call, mm -hmm. Matthew. Mm -hmm. Everybody went wrong. Well, there are two options, both with guilds. Matthew's a fan of chicken Kiev that. as well. Mm. Neither one does me much. You know what I've had a hankering uh, for lately is uh, chicken parm, actually. You taste so good. That would be good. Well, I'm sure they'll have that at, a, at the buffet one day. <sighs> at BGG Con. Good call. They usually do. Uh, it's only next week. It I'm is. Do that, but I'm gonna After fried chicken at Babe's. That to turn it into something else. So it's not going to be that. 
It could be. It could be that. But then you would waste the ship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you guys ever come to Denver, we got a pretty good uh, Mexican street taco I'm gonna do it dive. Woo! Two more. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so an expensive I'm action. That, that's going to flip that. So I can throw that card because I've kind of already done it. Right. And that one I'm not going to quit. Okay. All right. Choose wisely, sir. I will take that other jewelry. I know it doesn't look like much, but right. it's important to me. <laughs> it has heirloom uh, <laughs> worth to him. And uh, that shall uh, shall be all. Okay. All right. Mike? Money bags. I cannot do that. I you do have no disc. I... You can't take the guild action, though, if you wish. It's true, this man has no disc. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't. <laughs> Forgive me, Father Brave. Nope, waiting for, uh, waiting for the glory to roam yep. episode to do that. And even then, I don't know if I can get away with it. Y'all can, I don't know if I can. And uh, Dave, we're going on Tuesday. We'll be there at 5 if you want to join us. Okay, it's head busting time. All right, you play a trade card, sir. Oh, fudge sticks. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, I don't have a trade card to play. That is exactly what that is. Well, so, that so, is going so to... So you're 0 for 2. Do I hear strike 3? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, sure, let's come on to the trade goods here and see what happens. Uh, I would owe 3 more. I don't know yeah. that I said chicky chicky parm parm, but... Um, Sure, go with it. Chicka chicka pow pow. Oh my goodness. My best guess is that's going to be on Friday night's dinner. I'm going to say Thursday. Okay, all right. Wow, I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm doing <gasps> it. Wow, three? Oy vey, Jamil. I hope the rest of that works. Wow. Okay, uh, choose wisely, sir. Uh, Holy cow. How's that plan working out for you? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Plan, plan better. better. Yep. Okay. All right. We well, planned real well. He just, I, something yeah. changed. <laughs> they they changed plan. something in the Matrix. For right. Yes. That is entirely possible. Let us Kurt says he's camping in El Mirage right now by the fire watching the playthrough. You have coverage? First off, this one. that's amazing to me. And second, that's really awesome. Like, take, so get somebody to take a picture. Oh, wait, everyone else is sleeping. Well, that's take a selfie. Yeah, take a selfie. Send it to us. That'd be cool. All right, are you, do you wish to exchange it, sir? I don't think so. Nope. Wow. I, that is an expensive action, yep. sir. Amanda? Yeah. I am going to do the market pickup, please. I'm going to pay a cedar to get this. Okay, and what? How many cards? Seven. Two. Eight. Damn it! <laughs> she wanted that third one, so the market refills, and like, you don't have anything else. So that's it. Like Will Smith said, I saw that going different in my mind <laughs> <laughs> all right so the time has come dun, dun, dun. yes the time has come i just don't know what it's come for uh all right so i will finally claim a ship because that's what you do so i will have to pay another card and I will go ahead and pay that one because I'm going where Amanda went. So I need some jewelry. And uh, you know what's better than six? Nine. Okay. So that will come home. And nine worth 
Low cards. Five. Nope, you guys can't see that. There's five. Come on. Four. Three or lower. Oh, thank you very much. Ugh, disgusting. There we go. That dog will hunt. And done. Scoochie, scoochie. Not to be confused with... Uh, cheeky, cheeky, barn, barn. Or, or Jay and Silent Bob. Smoochie, boochies. Okay, cool. Done. And actually, the ship gives me a little flexibility because I don't have to match what I play now. Is this the third round now? Uh, it is the third. Was that passive-aggressive? No, I'm asking. I have three cards, so yep. Good call. That was passive-aggressive. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, All right, John, take care of my replaying better. Hey, Paul and uh, uh, Cave Hines, we may do this as an annual thing for new new uh, challenge coins. So maybe that's Glory to Rome is the, uh, is the second year uh, challenge coin, possibly. That'd be good. Don't know if we're going to do that, but we'll see. We'll see how popular the first season is. We'll go ahead and head over there since it's empty. Right. And even that comes into play, right? The timing of mm -hmm. that. I mean, yes. there's... There's a lot going on. There really is. And I will pass in the family heirlooms <laughs> to get those two discs. There you go, which is going to help for that. Yep. Mm -hmm. And do you wish to uh, take the guild action, sir? I wish to, but I will not. <laughs> he really wants to, but no. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun, Kurt. Very cool. Oh my god, I have blown up my game! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Don't forget, you can wipe the market. <laughs> you, can you can flush something other than your game. <laughs> no, I have successfully flushed my game. <laughs> Wow, it was all looking so great <laughs> at the beginning. I had the whole hey, you're all proud plan. of yourself. Like, how, how'd that work out? Not. Right. <laughs> Not is how it worked out. Um, wow. Just wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, I can believe it. Am, am I going to pass tw No, I st I'll get cards and I can play them. All right, here we go. Mm. <laughs> That'd be up the... Yeah, Al. Um, you can't... Oh, you're going to war. Going to war. Um, you need to play a trade card. There's a trade card. So playing that trade card. Uh, you, you get the honor, sir. I don't want to... Wish the, the, and I should note that if you had multiple ships that could affect this, you can play multiple ships in the same action. Go ahead. And if I had two here, I could go to war with both one. of them? One ah, here, one. one here. Gotcha. Okay. So I blow up a four ship. Which you're good to go, so seven, seven worth. Four. Okay. And what do you got? Six. Oh, there you go. And Wound. whatever, yep. Ten. There you go. And that ship comes face down like it did. Yep. I'm this still working away. on shipping, Vincent. Give me a day or two. And then uh, you can place it on the achievement tile if you wish. <laughs> you made Mike growl. So I can get three here. Or... All that will be remedied this weekend, Vincent. Yeah. That's why everything should say contact Amanda before mm -hmm. all international orders should contact Amanda before ordering. Yep. And this could go... It's worth three points here. It's worth three points here. And it's worth... Now, how does this work here again? It's uh, trade cards in hand at the end of the game for similar or dissimilar. So Got sets it. or, uh, you know. Two points. I'm going to leave it right there. Okay. Boom. Done. Are you sure? Is that your final answer? Uh, yeah. Like I said, the turns usually 
go quickly. Yeah. Amanda, you have to see if somebody in Europe wants to be your shipping warehouse from Europe. You just ship a bunch of stuff to them, and then they ship it yeah. out there. That's actually not a terrible That's idea. Really not. Um, Offer to buy them a game of their choice at Essen next year. That is not a bad idea, sirs. Um, uh, from everything we have experienced, they, they are pretty true to size, Paul. I don't want to do that. Okay. Well, let's punt because I'm not going to do what I wanted to do. So let's go to the, let's go to the market. No one's there. Now there's Somebody one there. there. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to draw. Ha, that worked out. Okay, done. Well. You look really nice. That doesn't, no, don't, no. Really? Well. Your hair looks good. Look. Thanks. Yeah, yeah right. Um, so we are now on the penultimate turn. So I have two actions left. That's not worth it to me. So, all right. Go to market. I'm going to owe a card because someone is there. Who? Uh, wow, this is really, really kind of terrible. So here are my options, right? So I kind of want to keep this action here. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Actually, I can spend that. Because if I get something... Yeah, so I'm actually going to spend that to be able to go over to where Amanda is there. So I went to market. I will go ahead and claim that card. And then... Looking around the board, it feels like I don't. Uh, I am going to exchange that card back. I'm safe. I'm good. All right. Cool. Four. Yep. So I scored 16 last game. Not even counting anything on my board. Just in that, I have 24. Mm -hmm. So that's... That's it's better. That's an improvement. I forgot about that guy. So, um, remind me, that's... I don't have to pay a card anymore. Oh, hold on. The, the bag, the bag one is... Luxury. Can be used when delivering to the trading harbor. The trade card you use for delivery doesn't need to match the chosen ship out here. So, you do not need to have... So, that's more for this one. Yes. That has that it's because that's the symbol for the harbor. It's the uh, bag. Yeah. It's a little bit confusing. A little bit. I can see that. But you still have to have a disc. That, well, it is the penultimate turn. You could place a disc and then use that. The ultimate turn. I don't believe I will. I'm going to play this, though. I'm going to use this card. There you go. Take this to there. To then place a <laughs> disc on one of those three spots. What the hell? Alright, and you wish to take the guild action, sir. Hi, yeah, Franny. I think I will. No? New patron, Franny. No, I no, say. I won't, because I'm, I'm realizing if I do and I put it over there, it earns me more points there than it does over there. Okay, done. Mike? An ultimate turn oh, for you, Kurt sir. Oh, Kurt tweeted us a picture. Oh, good stuff. I'll take a look when we're done. Mm. 
Yeah, I have some final game thoughts, or in-game thoughts here. Uh, I'm going to pass and draw a card. Yep. Oof. Yep. All right, Amanda. All right, I'm going to go to the pickup. You owe a cod. I'm going to spend an oil to get that. To get what? That. You 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 owe a card here first. Oh. The fighting one. Okay. So draw nine. Six. Yeah, you, whew, that was close. Nine, really? There you go, yep. <laughs> Hashtag. Bad draw better. Drawer. <laughs> All right, so we are now at the ultimate action. Uh, well, uh, by the skin of my chinny chin chin, I can do it. So I'm going to go here. So I owe. Of course, yeah. Glory to Rome. All of you. <laughs> <laughs> so I will play that action. I owe two cards to do so I will play those two cards and then I will pay that for that so this comes home so seven three eight and those are in my hand and down Matt, your turn. Yeah, with one of you there, I could have gone. <laughs> so it wasn't my fault. That was really Amanda's. So I, I'm free of blame. I was just kicking you while you were down. Mm -hmm. So I literally got... And the bad thing is that won't come back either. Was that, no, it's yeah, out there. So that's three points. It just... Yeah. <laughs> That's the sound mm -hmm. of points going away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kinda sounds like a fart. It's weird. Uh, and I don't even have my card available to change it to something else. That's all I've got. That and that. Now I don't want to put. I'm not putting another disc out there. <laughs> that's. Uh, yeah. That's. So that's give me a card. Wow. Y'all huh. screwed me hard. Wow. Mike? Oh, that yep. so <laughs> well, I'm going to come over here. There's the bag, and there's the penalty. Okay. I'm going to decline to the main action. The right. main action. I'm going to execute this action to put this disc in here. Even though it's a different spot. Interesting, because it's not contiguous. Because it's seats. It is a seat. That's true. So it's true. four points. Yeah. Five, six, seven points. Amanda? All right. I am going to do... There we go. The resident action. It's a game action. about Carthage. It took this long for a glory to roam. Actually, Mike threw one out earlier, but yeah. Residence, please. Residence. Residence. I'm going to pass doing that, but I'm going to take the guild, take action, the guild action, which means she's going to put a seat out there. Um, I just have to figure out which, so mm, none of those. turn was a disaster. <laughs> oh, I got it all planned. <laughs> or not. <laughs> uh, what would MacArthur say? I'll uh, be back. Uh, I will return. He, he did say that. <laughs> I think he said, uh, or was it, I, no, it was Ike. He said, plans are worthless. Planning is essential. <laughs> All right, I'm going to spend nine. No, no plan uh, survives contact with the enemy, exactly. right? Exactly. All right, so that is officially the end of the game now. So that's the end of the third decade. We now add up victory points. So it comes with this handy-dandy little scorecard that I've yet to figure out. So we'll see if we can get, figure this out here. So each influence, each disc in the guild hall is a seat. 
So we have, uh, let's see, we have two for Mike. We have two for Amanda and one for Matt. And thank you for playing Edward. Then we have the free bonus seats in your residences are worth zero, two, and three seats respectively. So I have three seats here. So that'll be three for me, Matt. Um, counting that too? Nope, nope, just, just that. Zero. So zero, okay. Uh, Amanda? Zero. And Mike? Zip. All right, then the next one is each fully emptied influence disc column mm -hmm. gets you one guild seat. So I have one and two. So two for me, Matt? Uh, one. Okay, Amanda? One. Mike? And one. Okay. Then, uh, so we add up that total. So here, I'll, I'll kind of work our way through this here. So we add up total. These are pretty low numbers, pretty simple. So two for Matt, five for me, three for Amanda, three for Mike. Then multiply that by number of ships, both face up and face down, which for me is two ships. Matt? Two ships. Amanda? Three. And Mike? Four. All right. It should have been six. <laughs> so Mike's at 12, <laughs> Amanda at nine, me at 10, and Matt at four. Then we have uh, victory points from placing on achievement tiles. All so right. why don't we do it by color? So we'll go Matt first. Okay. So Matt. Yeah, 12 for the first one. Okay. So 12. Go. Okay. And for the second one, whatever two gives me, which I think is two. Uh, it's one. It looks one like point. yep. So so one. that you're up to thirteen, and, and nine. that is nine. Uh, thirteen and nine is twenty two, for a total of twenty six points. That's ten more than I scored last game. Uh, we'll go Mike next. Oh, uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> three per empty seat here is nine. Okay. Uh, I have three ship types, which is three. Okay, you're at 12. I have th three per longest, which is three. Okay, you're at 15. And I have three per leftover, which is... <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> that was a well-spent two cards. So that's 15 per 27, which is good enough for not last. <laughs> Amanda. Okay. So I have, which one is this again? Four per seat, seat? here. Uh, no, seat here. Uh, which are none. Right. That's unfortunate. Then don't have any of that, don't have that. This I have. How many set or? I have five different cards. Okay. So that's seven points. So seven total? Yes. For last place at 16. And then I for me? You multi oh, dang it. I, I'm doing, I did really good the first game. So getting back <laughs> here, so uh, <laughs> residence here in discs left over. 12. So a max of 12 and a max of 12 for 24. It's 34. 34. Hashtag bad teacher. Mm -hmm. So I win at 34. Mike squeaks out second by one point, Eek. 27, Matt, 26, and Amanda, we won't met. Just, just FYI, here was our first game. Um, uh, so Amanda scored 44, true story. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I did better. You did. And then the other Michael actually wasn't here or yeah. isn't here now. I scored what you did. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. so you had ships in that game? I don't remember. What happened? I think it was this. Okay. This yeah. was oh, really, yeah. This was she, really yeah. good. The, the, the achievement. The I got like 20. Yeah. Again, I got 24 points out of that, which was almost good enough for second place alone with yeah. that. So, okay, we'll start with you guys. First game, thoughts. I dig it. I do. Um, it's real. This is real dirty with four people. <laughs> oh, the, uh, yeah. the action board? Uh, yeah. Yes. Having to pay the extra cards. Mm hmm. It. I can't really think of anything to compare it to really too much. I mean, it kind of looks like a lot of things, um, which is a good thing. It's, okay. It's, it's got some uniqueness, I suppose. So, but so far, good, yeah, good so first impression? Good, yeah. Okay. All right. Mike? Um, 
I, I really dig it, and I can't really put my finger on why. I'm a little, I'm a little with there with you. Like I, I dig it. Why? I, I definitely want to put this on the table several, several. Oh, more we will because we're going to review it, so okay. we need to. So that's good to hear. Um, this may hit the table tomorrow. In fact. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's dirty. Yeah. I like planning your way through all the twisty passages. There's not a lot of opportunity for action efficiency in here, is there? I mean, there's the this and this. Oh, between the, the two ship, or the harbors? Yes. Yep. yep. And is that it? Uh, for action, if, well, no, the guilds, the guild halls as well. Okay. Being able to piggyback off of those. Okay. Um, I mean, being able to yeah. get out here for the in-game points is going to be super, super important, as you can see, mm -hmm. and then trying to maximize those uh, as, as much as possible. Yeah, so there's some set collection, there's some choose your path through here, there's... Yeah, it's important to try to get out of sync with people so you're not trying mm -hmm. to go to the same yes. place at the same time. Yeah. have some options, which yep. I thought I had on that last <laughs> turn before everything went <laughs> in my face. Uh, I I really dig it. Yeah. Okay. I like it a lot. Um, but as you see, you know, with the, the last two games that we played, this is vital. The, the, the achievements. In, the achievements. Yeah. Again, if a game has end game scoring, you probably ought mm -hmm. to be involved yeah. in that pretty heavily, and right? You have, I mean, that's what won me the game last time. That's what won you the game this time. And it just, that you can't not do that, obviously. Um, but I like all the I like the how the cards have different properties to them. You know, it's the type of good it is to get the boat, or it's the type of how much money it is to buy seats, or just I like that. Um, they're multi-use multi cards, yeah. but yeah. but but they're not, not in a way to where you like have to it, turn right, it and right, stuff. Right. It's just but they're it's totally a card. Yeah, you you have to evaluate a whole lot of mm -hmm. different things when you're you're not just going to the market to get. Oh, I just want silk. I don't no, care. No, you have to think and about the that. The coins. Yeah. You're thinking about. Oh, wait. If I'm going to spend this card, maybe I need that for the available action mm -hmm. as a fallback plan. Ask Mike. <laughs> um, so, I, I'll be honest. The first play, I thought, okay, yeah, this is kind of cool. Okay. Second play, now I'm really starting mm -hmm. to dig it. Mm -hmm. Now it's starting to hit, uh, find its stride. And somebody in uh, the peanut gallery mentioned that uh, it seems like it's going to be more tactical with more players, but I don't know. Tactical to a point, like I had a plan in place. I mean, I, I absolutely had a plan to go for these two and I accomplished that with keeping in mind, again, uh, I mm -hmm. have one more play under my belt, which is one more than y'all had, but it had, I saw that the residence was tied in here along with the residence tied in there. So those are the two that I was going to focus on along with those. So there's some definite synergies mm -hmm. that you need to be able mm -hmm. to look at before the game, which being your first game, that's going to be impossible mm -hmm. to try and look at after also absorbing the rules of the game. Right. So that's under understandable. But that said, um, it's mechanically pretty simple. And then it's just a matter of mm -hmm. how to, you know, make lemonade out of lemons w with the tactical aspects, mm -hmm. but still staying on target for your own plan. Yeah, yeah it's like there's, there's, there's a whiff of seven wonders. There's a whiff of glory to Rome in here. There's, I don't know what the heck this comes from. I don't from. know, that, that really should have been an arena, though. Yes. Oh, oh, for the uh, the action selection. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the fighting happens. <laughs> this, I mean, what, what other? I'm I'm drawing a blank on the games where we try to get. Oh, um, Great Western Trail. Get discs yeah. off of your board yep. Mm -hmm. to yep. enable new things to happen. Sure, I could see that. So yeah. it's, mm -hmm. it's a really nice amalgam of mechanics yeah. from all over the place. Which I, I I as far as the theme, eh here really i don't really feel like the theme is anything direct at all i feel like it's completely pasted on um i like the boats i like the artwork on the boats i like the the green cedar mm -hmm. uh but yeah this is purely a game that you're going to enjoy because of the interaction with the action selection and mm -hmm. just the integration of the different mechanisms yeah i think that's the only reason yeah. that you're after this game it's certainly not going to be the theme no 
and you do at some point you'll be needing to play the other players games so two thumbs up on that mm -hmm. right yeah yeah cool it's all very right. enjoyable all the way around all right so let's see uh franny says wait matt's not in second <laughs> i know weird uh, it's real close though it's you are. one point away right <laughs> From tying for a second. <laughs> it, was, it was sweater Mike, too. So it was. That's, so that's they're, all they're, right. they're right. There's no shame in that. No. And no. Michael Kemp says, I realize everybody ro wore the wrong colors. Yes. To our defense, though, if you look down at the bottom now of that, all the colors are listed right there. So that kind of lets everybody off the hook now. I only have so many red shirts. <laughs> And I don't have any purple shirts. So. Right. So, yeah, we need to fix that, I guess. I but, could have uh, easily worn a black shirt. I just didn't know what color I was playing. <laughs> so, well, I'll keep that in mind. I'll text you before the next sure. stream. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, tomorrow, so, yeah. Ideal Confluence. Edward, wardrobe. Right. Wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so yeah, that's uh, Carthago. So if you all missed it at the beginning, um, this was a Essen 2017 release, and it did get picked up. It's going to get republished by uh, Capstone Games and ready for Origins at 2018. The only change that I know for sure that's going to happen is oop, the Black Edge cards. They're going to actually have a white border on them because, let's face it, black cards, they're already starting to yeah. kind yeah, we of played chip it twice a little bit. And it's, yeah. mm -hmm. Somebody on BGG rated the game a one because of that, <laughs> and I'm like, really? It's probably the same person that gives a thumb down to all our videos. I bet you it is. Yep. Yeah, right? Yeah. They need to find some happy in their life. Uh, yes. But no, seriously. Maybe that, they should watch the videos. Yeah. <laughs> that's, just the only, that's the only change that I know of. Uh, that I know for sure is happening. There may be others, but yeah. So that's Carthago. Thanks yeah. everybody for uh, joining us. Uh, that was a lot of fun. It was, um, it was. very surprising. I was very good. pleasantly surprised. Good. I, I yeah. told you I thought both of you would enjoy the game. You were and correct. Sir. I'm now two for two yes, for indeed. essay games with it's you It's like guys. you do this for a living. You tell people what games they might like. Weird how that works. Right? Bizarre. Crazy. So if you guys like it, like and subscribe. Um, we'd appreciate it for sure. Also, the 593 patrons that support the show. Literally, this ain't happening without them. So thank you very much. If you want to support the show, uh, it's actually scrolling down underneath. You can go to pledgehc.com and see a couple different ways to support the show. Other than that, uh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow night or tomorrow during the day for Sidereal Confluence, but also BGG Con is coming. Uh, Sweater Mike and I are going to be there. Yes. Matt so, and I will be here at the house. Holding down the fort, uh -huh. so thank you for doing that. Hopefully next year that'll be different. So, uh, Edward. Amanda. Sweater Mike. And Matt. All right. Y'all have a good night. Take care, y'all. Good night.